Hi, my name is Rob Nelson and I am the author and creator of Sage Light Image Editor. And what I want to show you today are some of the bokeh and lens blur functionality that has just been put into version 4.2 of Sage Light. And as you can see, when I come into the bokeh and lens blur function, it already creates a blur for me that I can then expand on. Now this is just a quick overview. I'm really just meaning to do a couple minutes here and then I have a, a tutorial, a couple tutorials that you can look at in much longer. So when I come in, you can see that I can move around the blur in real time. I've already done kind of a nice blur where it's putting a little focus on the dog's face. And then what I can do is I can increase the blur amount or the softness, depending on what I want to see with the blur. I can also use the backlight slider, which will help me focus on the dog's face. You can see that I'm already nicely focused on his face. But let's say also that what I want to do is I want to really bring his face into the focus and have this foreground area here blurry so you can see that I can change the shape of the mask as I move around the reticle and change the shape of it. I can also rotate it and do all sorts of things. And in other videos, I'll show even more of what you can do. But you can see as I do that, it makes the dog's face a little bit more blurry. And maybe what I want to do is I want to make sure that this area is completely in focus. So a lot of times when you see bokeh results or lens blur results, there's a mask involved. And one of the things that's been put into Sage Light is the ability to edit the mask very quickly. With this auto mask, it really helps you out because you don't have to have a very complicated mask. For example, what I can do, as you can see, I've already been playing around with this. I'm going to go ahead and clear the mask. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly, I'm not even going to zoom into the, to the image. At some point, I might want to if I want to refine the mask. But what I can do is I can just draw this around the face very quickly. And I don't really even have to do it over his whole face. I just need to really do it in this area here. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway, just so it gives me a little control. I'm going to just, you know, you can see I'm not being completely careful about it. Um, you know, making sure I'm staying, it's like coloring. I'm kind of staying on the lines, but I'm not really being too precise about it. So you can see that already it's helping me protect his face uh, a lot. And so as I increase the blur amount or move around the reticle, you can see it's really protected exactly the area that I just edited. Now if I want to go just a little bit further, I can zoom in. And this is why the masking works so well inside of the bokeh, because what I can do is I can do a very simple mask and then decide that I want to expand on it just a little bit and then just go in and edit it very quickly. So you can see that you know I just want to just want to really get, get his ear there. Again, I'm not being too careful. You can see it looks just fine. And now I have the dog's face in the foreground. And maybe what I want to do too is I can um, I can use this backlight uh, some more, which works well, and I can also use the light and darken, which works after the blur. So you can see that in very short order, I was really able to just make this blur, add some depth of field, and very quickly I was able to just draw this mask uh, that took about 30 seconds of my time. One of the one of the pieces of uh, technology that I put into the lens blur is the ability to edit the mask in real time and to see the results very quickly. That way you don't have to worry about building the mask when you come in uh, because in a lot of programs like Adobe Photoshop or whatever you have to edit the mask. You have to really know what you want to do before you come in where this allows you to not really have to think about what you want to do and then just do it as you go and then you say okay this this isn't exactly what I wanted and you can add to the mask or back off from the mask and that sort of thing. So now what I want to show are some of the highlighting features in the uh, in the bokeh. So then what I can do is I can change the shape. I like the circle, but maybe I, I like a hollow circle here, or maybe something with even more of a gradient, or I can even do a, a diamond shape, depending on what kind of things I want to do. I tend to like the hexagonal shape, or the octagonal shape, rather. You know, I like that right there, and then I can, I can soften the blur if I want to. What I like with this picture is that I can go ahead and just make it a black and white. What I can do if I want to, I can just increase the color of the vignetted area, the mask area, without changing the color of the center, which can be a real nice technique to bring out the highlights. You can see this has a lot of color now, but for this particular picture, I think it looks good as a black and white. And what I can do is I can even make it more of a black and white with this extra light and darken control, and then I can go ahead and just accept that. And then what I can do is I can uh, get rid of these guys. I can do a little extra work inside of Sage Light if I want to, where I can uh, just uh, do a little dodging and burning. I tend to like to do that, especially it really helps bring out a space. And then I can also add a little definition to to his face. So 
so that I can uh, bring that out as well. So the nice thing about the bokeh in the lens where it really does let you play around, and then what I can do is maybe I can add just a little bit of color, make them a little blue tone, bring down the light a little bit, just play around. As you can see that in just a few seconds, it really didn't take more a couple, more than a couple minutes of my time. I was able to really just go from a pretty nice picture to an even uh, more interesting and compelling picture with um, just a few controls in SageLink.